Your digital footprint follows you wherever you go online. Sometimes we like that because it makes it easier for us to shop and to find things that make life more convenient for us. But all this convenience can come at a cost. Your online privacy. It seems like we read about people and organizations being hacked almost on a daily basis. How many of these companies have you done business with? They've all been hacked in the last three years, some of them multiple times. As consumers, what can we do about it? In this module, I share my identity theft story with you, not to scare you, but to show you how ID theft happens and how you can develop habits to protect yourself as much as possible. My story begins in the early 1990s when I left a company in New York to come to California. Back then, human resource files were paper-based. Every company had a folder full of your personal information, as online clouds and digitization weren't around yet. Fast forward to 2003, and suddenly, I'm getting credit card bills from companies I never did business with. Thousands of dollars worth of charges in my name. It turns out the New York company I worked for didn't shred my paper files when I left. It was all left in a dumpster in some back alley for someone to steal, and that they did. For someone to steal your identity, all they need is your name, social security number, and birth date. These days, thieves access this information not by dumpster diving, but hacking into companies you do business with and by phishing. Once you click on the link they provide, the hackers are in and may be able to access your files and emails. Here's an example. If you get an email from a company that looks legit, don't immediately click on any links. Look at it carefully. Notice the second L in PayPal and the address? That's a dead giveaway that is a hacker trying to access your email. Now we don't need to stick our heads in the sand out of fear. We can educate ourselves on the best way to control our online presence. Our objective for this module is to learn how to be better online consumers and social media participants. To make online awareness and security second nature to us, and maybe along the way, help our friends and family too. Thanks for listening.